Kalani is a talented Taos artist whose colorful paintings are a beautiful reflection of her fun spirit itself. Her focus can be diverse, whether she is capturing the shadows and peacefulness of a small village, or the animation of her passion and love of her favorite sports, sailing, golf, fishing, skiing, and of course, the avalanche dogs. She always celebrates the joy of life's adventures. Here's Ani sharing the secrets of her artistry. This painting was painted in the garden out back. The house that I was painting, the little ranch house, is actually directly across the street. And, and what I think about when I look at this painting is the abstraction of this front section, how this flowers a little bit in focus, and it almost runs like a series of animation, a little less in focus, a little less in focus. And then I really love how much information I can get with just a few paint strokes of these flowers down here and they really get the direction and the angle of the blossom which is kind of difficult visual map. So we're here in Valdez Valley and this is the exact location where I created this painting. I looked out on these mountains and the way the land stretched over the, the bones of the mountain was like skin and it was so influential and so inspirational to me. And I see this almost like a human form. And this is the architecture of the landscape. Quite often, I use that first time on location to really absorb the sense and the feeling of being there. And this is actually the photograph that I'm working from. And you'll notice that I have it gridded out and that's just become part of my process in the past few years. It gives me more reference points for understanding the shapes. And I like to keep my paintings kind of raw. So it allows me to do something that, you know, looks like a valley, looks like mountains, but I can be really loose with my brush strokes. So it, it allows me to be freer. Here I've sat many a times on this hill with a margarita. My neighbors live in these houses and I've painted in some of these orchards down in Valdez. I think of uh, Bob Ross sometimes. He really was a good painter, that guy from TV. And he always talked to himself while he painted. I would say, oh, a happy little tree. But you know, that voyeurism is kind of helpful. In painting, you know, as I'm painting this field now, I'm imagining the cattle that might be eating this grass and, you know, just really experimenting with it on a lot of different levels and understanding. How am I working with the three fields you know, of depth? So as I, we come back to the painting, I'm using these depth cues of like, dark, medium, light, lighter. It's logic, but again, that logic frees me up to have something that reads spatially, but can be very loose and very fun. So much is about lights and darks. I think when eyes were getting involved in our species, it had to do with flight or fight shapes in the forest. So your food, if you could see a dark shape of a rabbit running by, that was food. And I think our eyes were trained to see those initial shadows first. It's how we understand space. And so that's what I'm doing with these darker colors as I'm going in and seeing if this space really registers in our most primitive brain cells. So as a little one, I wasn't known for well-crafted drawings. I had... That's me! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>